Amen. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, isn't God good? Hallelujah. God bless you, YouTube. God bless you, Facebook. Amen. We bring greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One more day that the Lord have made, and we shall rejoice. Ain't we rejoicing? Yeah. Ain't we rejoicing? Yeah. Haven't we been praising God? Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, we rejoice and we are glad in it. Amen. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every man, every woman, every boy, every girl that believes. Oh, yes, yeah. saving power, yeah. sanctifying power, yeah. keeping power yeah. to them that believe. But you got to believe in the power of God. Amen. We honor Bishop Willis. We honor his wife, Evangelist Willis, praying for you. Amen. We know God is still in the miracle working business. Yeah. Oh, yes, and I give honor to my lovely wife, Sister Tierra Frazier. Thank God for a soldier that's willing to stand for the gospel of Jesus Christ, who, amen, who have sent, amen, us to preach his word in spirit. Spirit and in truth, instant in season, out of season. Hallelujah. When folk want to hear it, when folk don't want to hear it, we still going to tell it like it is. How many glad you sanctified? Yeah. Amen. I'm glad I'm sanctified. Glad I'm on the Lord's side. Glad I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Don't mind fighting. Don't mind struggling. Don't mind going through. Amen. Because the blessings of the Lord, it added, make it rich and it added no sorrow to it. Amen. I'm so happy to be saved, sanctified. Amen. Amen. Being able to come into your house, your homes, radio, wherever this gospel may reach you, we all say God bless you. Yes, there is a word from the Lord. How many know God is still speaking? God is still sending forth his word. Amen. To those that got an ear, the Bible said, let them that half an ear hear what the spirit have to say unto the church I'm so glad to know that God is good so glad to know that God is a keeper God is a perfecter God is a preserver God is mindful of his people how many know that I'm right about it oh yes God is so mindful of us amen and we can depend on the dependency of God we can depend on God to be there we can depend on God to care for us we can depend on God to continue to extend that love amen taught us to them who heart trusted in God. How many know God is good? Yes. Oh yes, God is so good. God is so mindful. The Bible said what is man that God is so mindful? Mindful of man to send his son Jesus to be killed, to be crucified, to be buried. But on that third day he rose again with all power. Amen. He rose for our sanctification. He rose for our justification. He rose, amen, so we can rise with eternal life to those who receive Jesus in their life. Oh, yes, we save and sanctify. Amen. But if we have hope in this life, only we men are most miserable. Amen. But we got hope of eternal life, hoping to reign with Christ, looking forward to that expected end where there be no more death, no more dying, no more toiling, no more crying, no more laboring in this life, no more fighting the devil. Hallelujah. Because one day, beloved, amen, our fight going to be over. One day, people, when the trumpet of God shall sound, the dead in Christ going to rise first. Then we who are alive, and remain shall be caught up those who are alive and remain those who steadfast those who's faithful those whose life amen is holy we're gonna be caught up together with the saints to meet the lord in the air how many living for that day we live in the live again we live in the reign with jesus we live in amen to escape the damnation of this world i'm so glad that god called me out glad he redeemed me from my sins amen now have my inheritance among them that are sanctified Woo, glory to God. Amen. You got so many folk, they want God, but they not sanctified. Got people, they want to go to heaven, but they not sanctified. Amen. In order to see Jesus, the Bible said in holiness and righteousness uh, before God all the days of your life. Uh, that means Sunday, you got to live holy. Huh? Forget about Easter. Monday, you got to live holy. Tuesday, you got to live holy. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday again. Uh, holiness without which no man shall see God somebody say holiness. holiness oh yeah holiness amen Jesus he lived a holy life he lived a sanctified life he lived a life that was dedicated to pleasing to God amen Jesus said I do always those things that please my father amen and if we want to make it we got to do those things that please God too 
Amen. If we want God to truly be there, but God, he's so good. Amen. He causes his son to shine on the saint and sinner alike. He causes it to rain. Amen. On the just as well as the unjust. God is good to all. Amen. And his mercies endure forever. Amen. And we can depend on God to be good for her toward us in our circumstances and toward us in our situations that we face in this life that's full of adversity. Oh yes, beloved, just because you saved, that don't mean that we gonna have it easy. Amen. Because we saved, that don't mean that we not gonna go through. Huh? But to much whom is given, the same much is required. Huh? We gonna have to fight the good fight of faith. Huh? We gonna be subject to some of these infirmities huh? because we are subject, huh? amen, to the, the consequences of sin huh? that will pass the power on men. Huh? That's why we got diseases in the land. Huh? That's why we got sicknesses in the land. Huh? Amen. It's a result of sin. Huh? But that don't stop the fact that God is good. Yes. Yes. Woo. God is still good, beloved. Oh, yeah. Well, we can trust in God to be good and to be there for us. We can trust in the goodness of God. Amen. How many know God is still good? Amen. Even when I'm on a war, amen, on a path of fighting the enemy. Amen. Enemy setting up shop in our minds. Amen. That don't stop God from being good. Right. Amen. We got to fight and contend, the Bible said, uh, for the faith which was once delivered us. Uh, that's why, amen, I don't mind going through uh, because I have that experience with God uh, to know that through it all, uh, God is good. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God is good to us people. Yeah. You got that first scripture? Let's roll. Amen. God is good. Somebody say God is good. God is good. Amen. We're going to depend on the faithfulness and goodness of God. Read the book, please. Nahum chapter 1, uh -huh. verse 7. What do the book say? The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Oh, yeah. A stronghold in a day of he's trouble. He's good and he's a stronghold in a day of trouble. Amen. That means, that, beloved, we can trust in God for safety. We can depend on God because the goodness of God, we got a safe haven in God. We got a place of refuge, a place of safety. God is a stronghold. That means that the devil can't do no more than what God allow. God is a stronghold in a day of trouble and what? And he knows them that trust in him. Oh yeah, he know your name. He know that you got the faith in God. Amen. And he looking down on your faith. Even in your day of trouble, he know if them that are good, he know if them that trusted in him. Yeah. Amen. Even when we in trouble, we can depend on the goodness of God. Amen. And depending on the goodness of God is us putting our faith in him who is good. Oh, yes, the Lord is good. It said the yes. Lord is good. Amen. The goodness of God do not change. Right. Why? Because God don't change. Right. So the goodness of God don't change because God is good. Yes. Amen. And that means holiness don't change neither. That means the standards of holiness don't change neither. Because God don't change. And God is good. Goodness don't change. No. The, God is holy. Holiness don't change. No, it don't. Amen. God is good. Yes. Amen. He's a stronghold in a day of trouble. That means we can put our faith in him in the day of our trouble. See, that lets us know just because we righteous and good, that don't mean that we're going to escape trouble Amen. while we down here on this earth. We subject to trouble. We subject to calamity. We subject to warfare. We subject to adversities. Why? Because our adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking him whom he may devour. Hallelujah. But we're going to resist the devil Amen. holding fast to our favor. We're going to resist the devil. Uh, Amen. Despite how our bodies feel. Uh, we're going to resist the devil. Uh, Amen. Man being steadfast in the faith. Yes. Hallelujah. And trusting in the one who's good. Yes. Yes, yes Lord. Read yes, the next Lord. scripture, please, so I can get out of here. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Psalms 73. What? Truly God is good. Truly God is good. Oh, so that's a statement, amen, that the psalmist made, letting us know that even when the goodness of God been tested, even when the goodness of God been tried, even when the goodness of God being put under the microscope and been weighed in the balance, it's been proven that God is good. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Don't you know God, he'll prove his goodness? God, he'll prove his love? 
God, he'll prove, amen, that he'll be there for you when nobody else will. Yes, he will. Oh, the Lord, truly the Lord is good. Yes. Sometimes people will forsake you. Yes. Sometimes people, they don't understand. Sometimes people in positions where they desire to help, but they just can't help it. But Lord, that's because God want to prove to you right. that God is good. Come on. All right. Amen. Huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Truly, God is good. Amen. We got to remind ourselves, read the scriptures over and over to remind yourself that God is good. Because yes. one of the main things the devil loves to do is work on that mind, beloved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. We in a, the battlefield is in the mind. Amen. Yeah, the devil, he come against that mind and make you feel like God ain't good. Look how faithful you been. Look how long you've been serving God and obeying God and faithful to God, trusting in God. And look at you now. But the devil is a liar. Yes. Truly, God is good. Yes. My situation don't dictate the goodness of God. All right, Eat amen. Woo, hallelujah. Eat up a higher. Yeah, Lord. Amen. amen. It's a fight. Yes, yes it is. To hold to the goodness of God. To stand on the goodness of God. To put our hope, confidence, and trust in the goodness of God. Yes. Truly, God is good. Devil, you a liar. God is good. Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm going through. Amen. Didn't Jesus go through? Amen. Where he at today? All right. He next to the goodness of God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. In eternal heavens. Oh, yeah. Making intercessions for us. Look how good God is. Amen. Not only did Jesus resurrect himself out of this earth, yet he's still looking upon us on this earth. Making intercession to God for us that's still on this earth. And, amen. Until that day, amen, that we be resurrected with him. Amen. God, goodness is shown, people. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes people feel like the goodness of God, amen, ain't there because God don't immediately respond. Mm -hmm. Oh, help me, Jesus. But the goodness of God doesn't mean that God always immediately responds to the need, people. Right. But the goodness of God is shown in the faithfulness of God that God will always fulfill his promises. <laughs> yes. Oh, that shows the goodness of God. That God, he'll always be a God of his word. That God's word will never fail. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. God will never make you ashamed no matter how much the devil wants you to be ashamed. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Jesus. God won't fail his promises that he promised you. Thank you, you. Jesus. He going to bring it to pass. Yes. But wait, I say on the Lord. Yes. Be of good cheer. Don't look good down. Cheer. Don't be discouraged. Be of yes. good cheer. Yes. Rejoice in the goodness oh, of God. Lord, Praise Him for the goodness of yes. God. Clap your hands for the goodness of yes. God. Shout yes. glory for the oh, goodness of God. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Eat it up, Hallelujah. Woo, truly God is good. Yes, yes you are, Lord. Oh yeah, God is good. Yes. I'm hurting. Going through, we all warfare. Yes. Amen. That shows the goodness of God that you're not alone. Amen. Devil wants you to feel like you're the only one suffering. You're the only one going through. You're the only yes. one having it hard. Nobody knows. God knows. Yes, he does. For we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Jesus knows. Yes, he does. He knows how you feel. He knows, yes. he knows that feeling of loneliness. All about it. He knows that feeling of helplessness that you feel, backslider. Oh, my God. See, sometimes the devil, he wants you to feel like there's no more hope. Devil wants you to feel like you can't get back. But truly, God is good. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and restore you back unto him. Yes. Amen. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is good. Oh, the oh, devil in trouble yes, today. He is. Help me, Jesus. Amen. Huh? Glory to God. God is good, people. He good to the sinner man. Yes, he he good to the backslider. Yes. He good to the forward man. Yes, he he good to all, amen, even the fool that sat in the heart there is no God. God is even good to him. Amen. Yes. That's yes. why he got the breath in his body to say that foolishness. God is still good. Yes, and his is. mercies and endureth to all generations. Yes. Amen. Amen. No matter how much the devil on your back, that don't stop God from being good. Amen. Amen. God shows his goodness. In the fulfillment of his word and promises. How many know all the promises of God is what? Yay! 
that means yes, means certainly, yes. and amen yes. to the glory of God. There have not failed one word. Amen. Anything God spoke, he got the power to perform. Amen. Amen. If it, he's still the same God as, amen, from way back old, even today. Yes, he is. No sickness can stop God from healing. Yes, no mountain can stop God from getting you through. Amen. I don't care what you facing, what's in your way. No matter the challenge, God is bigger than whatever problem you face in this yes. life. Yes. That's how good God really is. Yeah. Amen. Oh, we need to be reminded of how good God is. Yeah. The power of God. Amen. The capability of God. God is so good. Yeah. He's yeah. bigger than man. He'll never be beneath you, so stop looking down. All right. <laughs> stop looking down. What you with your head down for? God right. is up. He'll never be under you. Yes. Look yes. to the hills. Yes. Lift up your eyes. Yes. Lift up your head. Lift, oh, lift ye gay. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting yes. door. Yes. And the king of glory, king he glory. shall come in. Yes. That's how good God is. When you look to him, he shall come in. Yes. Woo, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Somebody say glory. Glory. Somebody say, God, you good. God, you good. Yeah, and we depending on your goodness, God. Yeah. We depending on your goodness, God. Yes. Suffering all year long, God, but we depending on your goodness, yes. God. Yes. Praying and seeking for that door to be open, but yet we depending on your goodness, God. Yes. Because God going to bring it to pass. Yes, he will. God ain't going to lie. Amen. God ain't going to fail. God going to do exactly what he said he going to do. Yes. Wait, I say, and never cease to pray. Yes. Walk up right morning, noon, day, or night, and God will be there. Read it yes. again. Psalm 73. Mm -hmm. Truly God is good to Truly Israel. Truly God is good to Israel. Israel was his chosen. Hey, beloved, and when you save, you are God's chosen. Yes. Oh, he favors you like he favored Israel. Yes. Help me, Jesus. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to, go ahead. Even to such as are of a clean heart. Even to such as of a clean heart. Because your heart has been washed. Yes. Your heart has been made new. Your heart is tender toward God. Your heart is full of the righteousness of God. Truly God is good to you. God is good to Israel to even to such as are of a clean heart. And that's not to say that God ain't clean, ain't good to the wicked man who got a wicked heart. Oh yeah, because he shows his goodness in different ways. Yeah, through his mercy. Don't you know the goodness of God is in his mercy? Yes. The goodness of God is in his patience toward man. The goodness of God is in his long suffering toward man. Amen. Not willing that any shall perish, but that all shall come into repentance. Beloved, that's the goodness of God towards you. Yes. Amen. Why focus sitting up twisting and twisting the word of God like God? Amen. They've been preaching that for, the, for long that God, Jesus, is coming back. But don't you know that the long suffering of God, amen, is the goodness of God. Yes. Not willing that any shall perish, but that all shall come. That's the goodness of God in his long suffering, in his tolerance toward man. Because God is angry with the wicked. He hates sin. Yes, he does. But because of your soul. Yes. Oh, because of the destiny of the soul. God is so long suffering. That's the goodness of God. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Are y'all with me, people? Amen. Amen. Read the next one. Trying to get my bishop up here. Go ahead. Psalms 34 and 8. Read. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. Get that experience. Taste and Hallelujah. see. Mm, glory to God. Get Hallelujah. that experience with yes, him. Yes. You got to experience the goodness of God to know of all about the goodness of God. Right. Oh, taste and see. Yes. That the Lord is good. Experience that goodness. Hallelujah. Experience that kindness. Experience that love and that care that goes beyond the care of man. Yes. Oh, help me, Lord. Amen. Sometimes man's love and care is on like a light switch. Off and on. Amen. Amen. But God, his love is everlasting. everlasting. His care is everlasting. Yes. His helping hand, his support. Amen. The strength of God. Yes. Amen. Will be everlasting in your life as long as you walk upright. Amen. Oh, Amen. his love is everlasting. Yes. His grace is everlasting. Yes. The Bible said that his mercy endureth to all generations. That lets us know his mercy is everlasting. Yes. 
Oh, taste and see. How many got that? How many tasted of the goodness of God? Oh, yes. How many tasted and seen that the oh, Lord is yes. good? We heard about it. Yes. We read about it. We seen and heard the testimonies of others about it. But it's nothing like experiencing God oh, for yourself. No. Sometimes yes. you got to get all the way in this thing yes. to understand what we talking about. Amen. To experience that salvation. Yes. To experience the true freedom in Christ. God is good. Yes. Read. Psalms 107. No. no. 38 and four, four, th th 34 and 8. You ain't finished that. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see. Yes. That the Lord is good. And what? And blessed is the man that trusted of him. That's it. Blessed is the person. Blessed is the man or woman that trusteth in God. Oh, he going he gonna to bless us, people. We already yes. blessed. We already favored. That word blessed mean favored. It mean prospered. Don't you know we prospered in God? Amen. Oh yeah, prosperity ain't all about money, my brother. Amen. Amen. We prospered in God. Amen. Oh, when he washed and cleansed our soul, we prospered in God. We, yes. we have received an inheritance of God. An inheritance of eternal life. Riches that are untold. God got treasures and riches, amen, in heaven that's untold where eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things that God have in store and those things that God have prepared for them that love God. Yes. Oh, yeah. We looking for that. Oh, yeah. And we trusting in that. Yes. Amen. We looking for God to deliver us. We trusting in God. We having our faith and confidence in God. We not doubting God. Yes. Oh, yeah. The devil, he wants you to doubt God about what you're going through. Doubt how long it's going to take to come out and doubt if God even going to bring you out. All right. But we trusting in God. Yes. To the very end. We going to hope to the very end, yes. believing that God is not a man, that he shall lie, neither the son of man, that he shall repent. We believe that God is going to do what we expect in him to do. Yes. Amen. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Yes. This is the confidence that we have in him. Yes. That whatsoever we ask. Yes. Because we obey him. That he going to be there for us. That God won't leave us. Yes. That God going to bless us. You, that God going to deliver us. That God going to cause us to exalt and triumph and rise above. Amen. Some of these things that bring us low. Oh, yes. Hospital rooms. Some folk, they, they feel helpless and alone. Hospital bed. But God will come visit you in that hospital oh, room. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. The anointing of God. The presence of God. It would overshadow you in that bed. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. When you tune in to God. Oh, the Lord, he will come and sup with you. Yes. He'll be yes. a very present help in your time of oh, trouble. Yes. A very present help in your time of need. And the presence of the Lord. Yes. Amen. He will send a word and heal you. Yes. His presence will comfort you. Amen. I rod and I staff. They comfort me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou. God is with me. Yes. God will be with you. He has come see about you. Yes. Amen. God, he's not, he not going to leave you in that state too long. He's not going to leave you in that condition too long because he knoweth them that trusted in him. Yes. His eyes go to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on the behalf of my daughter, on the behalf of my son, whose heart is perfect toward me. He's looking to show himself strong. He's looking to show himself favorable. He's looking to show himself a mighty deliverer. Yes. And still the capital G-O-D. Over all things. Yes. Yeah. That's the God we serve. That's the goodness of God. Yes. That's the goodness. He's looking to show himself good. He's looking to show himself mighty. He's looking to fulfill your very heart's desire. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The goodness of God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Trusteth. Yes. Meaning continually trusting in him. Not just for a moment. Not just one time. Not just one situation. Yes. Amen. But a walk of faith. But a life of faith. Yes. The just shall walk by faith and not by sight. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him at all times. Yes. That trusteth in God continually. Amen. To get to that place within themselves and in their own heart and in their own mind to know that I'm going to trust in God despite whatever the despite may be. All 
Right. I'm going to trust in God no matter what it looks. Beloved, that's saying one thing. Yes. Amen. But that's a desire and that's a place that we got to desire to get into. Amen. We got to we got to strive to get into that place in God where we can trust in God no matter what it looked like, even to the point of death. Yes. We got to be fully sold out to God, Amen. sold out in trust. Sold out in confidence. Sold out in faith. No, I choose to believe. I don't care what it looked like. I, within myself, I have the choice to believe. And I choose to believe no matter what. All right. Amen. That's some good faith right there. Yes. When you fully persuaded in your choice of belief in God. Oh, yeah. Read the next one. Amen. Psalms 107. Yes. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Psalms 107. For he is good. Psalms 107 says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Don't you know that's the reason to praise God in and of itself? Because he's good. Just because God is good, I'm going to praise yeah. him. It yeah. ain't about what I get. It ain't about what I'm seeking God for. It ain't about what I'm believing and hoping in God to do for me. Because, amen, that don't dictate my praise. I'm going to praise God anyway. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Whether yes. I got it or not, I'm going to praise him because he's good. Yes, yes. I'm going to praise him because he's good. Yes, yes. I'm going to praise him because of who he is. Yes, hallelujah. Some folk, yes. they only praise him for what he give them. All right. Some people praise him for only for the things that they got. But we, the Bible said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Yes. That's the reason to praise him. We praise him for his goodness. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah, because sometimes, amen, if you pray and ain't got it yet, you might not praise him. All right. If we, if we, put, our, if we put our praises based on what he do for us. All right. Now. But the psalmist told us the reason why. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Yes. His mercy endureth forever. Read the book, please. For his mercy endure forever. Yes. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. You that's been redeemed. Amen. We know Israel was redeemed. He was ransomed out. They was ransomed out of Israel. Yeah, they was. Amen. And God brought them into But we redeemed too. Yes. If you save, you redeem. Yes. Let the redeemed, redeemed of the Lord say so. Don't we got the testimony that God is good? Yes. The redeemed of the Lord got that testimony. We can say so too that God is good because he saved us from our can't help us. Yes. Saved us from our sins. Yes. Saved us from the slave and entanglement of yes. bondage. Amen. That we was accustomed to when we couldn't help but be addicted to cigarette smoking. Right. God is good because he broke that habit. Yes. When we couldn't help ourselves but look and lust, brother. Oh, God yes. broke that habit. It yes. Because God is good. Yes, he is. God is That's good. why I praise him. Hallelujah. Because where he brought me from, Thank you, Jesus. out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, Jesus. rapping and drugging and drinking and smoking and fornicating, yes. he brought me out of darkness. That's why I can rejoice oh, and praise Lord. him for his goodness. Yes. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Yes. Truly, when you redeem, you got a right to praise God. Right. When you've been truly redeemed, you know what it means to glorify God. Oh, yeah, because you know where you come from. All right. That's why when he said, when I bless you, don't forget me. All right. Oh, yeah, don't forget God. Yes. Don't you forget where you came from. Yes. Don't you forget where he brought you from. Amen. Amen. Yes. So it ain't about where you at. Remember where you come from. Yes. See, some devil, he wants you to focus on my condition, what I'm in now. It ain't where you at. It's where you come from. Praise right. him for where you come from. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Yes. Whom he hath redeemed. Go ahead, Bishop. I ain't anticipate to say all this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And gathered them out of the lands. That's what he did for Israel. From the east and from the west. Uh -huh. From the north and from the south. And he gathered us out of all our sins that yes, we were scattered did. out doing. Amen. East and where we going to and fro, sinning everywhere. Doing all kind of stuff. He gathered us too. Uh -huh. let's, let's, let's look at how good God is. What did he do? They wandered in the wilderness. They wandered in the wilderness. In a solitary way. Oh, in a solitary way. All by themselves, secluded, isolated from the whole world and everybody else but them. In a solitary way, in the wilderness. Wilderness, no water, no food, no, amen, just desert, heat, and sun, y'all. Amen, they wandered in the wilderness. In a solitary way. Read. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. Come on. They found no city to dwell in. No city to dwell in. No city of rest. Hungry and thirsty. Look at that. Hungry. They was thirsty in that heat, in that sun, tired. 
Yeah, depending on God to bring them to a land that flowed with milk and honey. They was wandering, amen, going forth, amen, off the promises of God. Not seeing the city, but going off the promises of God. Found themselves in a wilderness, y'all. Ooh, glory. And sometimes we following God. Living our life off the promises of God. Expecting God to do what he promised us individually. But yet we find sometimes ourselves in the wilderness. Solitary. Hungry and thirsty. Suffering. Going through tribulations. Found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty. Their what? Their soul fainted in them. Oh my God. To the point of that they was ready to just give up. They sold within themselves. What, did, what happened though? Then they cried unto the but Lord. But then they cried unto the Lord. In their troubles. They cried unto the Lord in their troubles. And he delivered and them. And God delivered them. Out of their distresses. Out of their distresses. God was good to them. Yes. God will be good to you. Yes. Continue to cry unto the Lord in your time of distress and God will deliver you. Yes. Go ahead. And he led them forth by the right way. And he led them forth by the right way. Not the wrong way, but the right way. Yes. Read. That they might go to a city of habitation. Let's, read, come on, let's hurry this up. Uh huh. Oh, that men will praise the Lord. Oh, that men will praise the Lord. For his goodness. Oh, that men will praise the Lord. And for his wonderful works. And work, for his wonderful works. To the children of men. To all the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul. Look at that. He satisfied that longing soul. And filled the hungry soul with goodness. Oh, that's why it's good to have that hunger and seek, my brother. Yes. Because he filled the longing soul. Amen. When you seeking and tarrying for God, seeking for the Holy Ghost, seeking for an outpouring of God, seeking for more communion with God, he satisfied the longing soul. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Mm -hmm. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. He satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul. Those that's hungry for God. Amen. We ain't just talking about that. This said hungry soul. This is spiritual hunger, y'all. Yes. Satisfying yes. that hungry soul. When you seeking God, going after God. Amen. Tuning out your circumstances. Yes. Tuning out your problems. Tuning out even your pleasures. Tuning it all out. Laying it aside. Going after God. Hungry for God. Thirsting for God. He filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Yes. Because he's good. Yes. Uh-huh. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Oh, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Amen. We can take this a whole lot of way. It don't matter what you in. Yes. Your place of darkness, of obscurity, because you can't see the way. God will be there too. Yes. Such a sit in darkness. Those in the shadow of death. Those that's not deaf. Those that's facing death. Those that's facing uncertainty. Being bound. Look at that. In affliction and iron. Those that's locked up. Those that's in prison. Those that's incarcerated. God will even be good to you too. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm a witness that, that you can be bound and yet free. All right. You can be incarcerated, but yet you can be free in God. Right. Oh, yes, I know I'm right. Oh, yes, being bound in affliction and iron. Don't you know God is good to those prisoners? Oh, yes. God is good to those who messed up Amen. and suffering the punishment of some of the things that they caused. God is still good to you. Amen. Yes, he is. Read the book, please. Because they rebelled against the words of God. Look at that. Some of them are bound. Amen. We know the children of Israel. God sent them into captivity. Bound in afflictions and iron. Because they rebelled. They backslid. They left God for idols. And God sent their enemies in and took them away captive. Oh yeah. Nebuchadnezzar and Amorites and different folk. God allowed them to be subject to bondage. Being bound in afflictions and iron. Amen. But some of, amen, some of them that's in jails and suffering for some of the things that they caused too. Amen. amen, amen, amen. Being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the command. So even if you done messed up, yes. even if you done backslid, the goodness of God is still stretched out to you, saying, I still be good unto you. If you turn to me, I'll be good to you. They rebelled against the commandments, against the words of the Lord, and contemned 
the counsel of the Most High. They, they put the word of God to side. Amen. They put down the messengers of God. They turned, amen, from the counsel of God and went to Babylon for help. Turned back to the world for help. Amen. And, and God was still good to them. Yes. But they had to suffer for what they did. Amen. Sometimes we got to suffer for what we do. Oh, yeah. Amen. Just because we give our life to God, that don't mean we're going to escape everything. Amen. All the punishments and the consequences of our actions. Amen. Hey, the Bible said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Amen. He that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. All right. Amen. So that don't mean we're going to escape all the punishments that we, do. amen, are subject to because of the things we did now that we done gave our life to God. But let me show you the goodness of God. Yes. Read. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. He brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. They fell down. They was brought low, people. Then, and there was none to help. Yes. Then they cried unto the Lord. But then they turned back to God with a sincere heart of repentance. They cried unto the Lord and, for help in their trouble. And what did he do? And he saved them out of all their distress. And he saved them out of all their distresses. This is how good God is. Yes. Even though you hurt God. Even though you offended God, turned your back on God, and God had to smite you with a punishment. Amen. Beloved, if you turn back to God with a sincere heart of repentance like that prodigal son, the goodness of God will save you out of all your distresses. Oh, you, oh yeah, you in distresses. Yes, you are. Yes. You think you was going to leave God and things was going to get better, right. but you found out things got worse. Amen. Because when you leave the best, you get nothing but the All worst. Right. Come on. Now. Things ain't going to get better when you leave God. Amen. He is the best. Yes, yes. And when is. you leave God, you subject to nothing but the worst. All right. Hey Amen. God is high. When you leave what's high, you be brought low. All right. Hey Amen. He'll save you. But when they cried unto God, he saved them even out of their distress. Even if you messed up, get up. Repent quickly. Yes. Turn back to God and he'll deliver you. Yes. I'm talking about the goodness of God. God is so good. He saved yes, them yes. out of their distresses. Yes. Those that backslid. Those that uh, contemned the counsel of the Almighty. They put the, amen, God's word to the side and turn they back on God. But yet, even then, God was still good to them. Read. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of the death. He brought death. them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death. Even the backsliders. Go ahead. And break their bands in sunder. And he broke their bands asunder. Don't you know God is a habit breaker? Oh, yes. Yeah. God is a deliverer. God is a chain breaker. Yes, it don't make no difference what you bound by. God can break the bands asunder. Oh, yes. And he can free you. Amen. And he can free you to live a life that's pleasing to him. Oh, that men will pray. Go ahead. Oh, that men will praise the Lord. Oh, that men and women, those that know hey, about the goodness of God, will praise the Lord for his goodness. Yes. And Somebody it, say, for his goodness. For his goodness. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. That's what I said too. Hallelujah. Text it too. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Read. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness uh -huh. and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Wonderful works. For he have broken the gates of brass. Look at that. Broken that gates of brass. And cut the bars of iron and sun. I don't care what the devil try to hold you captive to. Yes. God is able to break the bands of sunder and cut the brass of sunder. God is able to free you yes. no matter what the devil bound you by. Amen. Yeah. Oh, he's yes, able to he's break able. them bands. Yes, he's able. He's able to cut them bars of sunder. Yes. God yes. can bring you out of no, no, no matter how long you've been in it. Amen. No matter how many years you've been in it. Yes. When you turn to God, he will cut the bands asunder and cut the brass asunder. Yes, he yes. will. He will break those bands. God, he got to free your soul because he want to free your soul. Yes. And because you call on him with independence and faith that he's going to do it. And that's why he'll do it. Read. Fools because of their transgression. Now look at how good God is even to the fool. Fools because of their transgressions. And because of their iniquities. And because of their iniquities. Are afflicted. 
Fools become afflicted because of their own sins. Fools. Those that don't even believe in God. Fools within the heart. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Read. Their soul abhor of all manner of me. Uh huh. And they draw near unto the gates of death. To the point of death. Desperation. Desperate. Amen. And, and, and without, afflicted, no manner, no desire for food, can't eat your, amen, you ever been in that place, people? Amen. We're not saying you're a fool, but have you ever been in a place where you've been going through so much, amen, you didn't even desire to eat, you don't even have no appetite? Amen. Oh, yeah, they, amen. they heart, it said, they so abhor all manner of me. They draw near unto the gates of death, the fool, because of his own folly. The fool because of his own sins. What? Then they cried unto the Lord. Even the fool, then they, even the fool, cry unto the Lord. When he come into the knowledge and enough sense within himself to turn to the living God. Even the fool, when he have enough sense to turn to God, when he cry to God. Unto the Lord in their trouble. In their trouble. And he saved them out of their destruction. And he saved them. Out of their distresses. Look at that. God even saved the fool. He won't hold their foolishness against them in the day when they turn and recognize that he is the true and the living God. He's good to the fool too. Amen. He's a deliverer for the foolish too. Yes. Because how many know the foolish don't have to stay foolish? Amen. Oh, I don't care. You've been a fool, a young fool, and now you're an old fool. You don't have to stay a fool. Amen. The fool, when he have enough sense to turn to God and give God a chance to humble himself and cry to the Lord, even in his trouble, God will be there for the fool. Yes. And you know, and you could be no longer a fool anymore. Amen. Read. He sent his word and healed them. Oh, how many looking for God to send his word and heal? Oh, yes. He said he sent his word. God didn't have to do nothing but send a word. Yes. All he got to do is speak the word. That's how good God is. That's how powerful God is. Yes. That's how awesome God is. Yes. All he got to do is speak the word. He sent this word and healed them. Read. And delivered them from their destruction. And delivered them from their destructions. Go ahead. Oh, that men will praise the Lord. Again, oh, that men will praise the Lord, meaning give glory to him. Yes. Clap your hands and applaud him and laud him and bask in his presence and lift up your hands to God to and God. say, Lord, I thank you. Yes. Lord, I praise you. Yes. Lord, I glorify you. God, for your goodness, for you are good. Yes. Uh-huh. For his goodness and for his wonderful works and the children of men. Toward the, to the children of men. Uh huh. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving. Oh yes, let them sacrifice. Sometimes we gotta sacrifice. Oh yeah. Sometimes we gotta give God a sacrificial praise. Amen. Even when I don't feel like it, I'm a oh, praise. Right. Even in the midst of my battle and I'm feeling heavy and and down and burdened down, I'm still gonna praise God yes, because Lord. He'll give you grace in the hardest yes, place. He he'll will. give you a spirit of praise. Yes. He'll give you a garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness. So let them offer the sacrifices of praise, of thanksgiving, and declare, and declare his works with rejoicing. Yes. Not, with, not in murmuring, not with complaining, not sad, of, sad about the fact of who, what God done did. No, we're going to offer the sacrifices and declare his works with rejoicing. Yes. Rejoicing God, rejoicing and praising and glorifying God for what he done. Uh-huh, read. They that go down to the sea and ship. Now look at that. Even those in the sea, they know about the goodness of God. Oh, yeah, them seas could be mighty boisterous. Hey, the seas and waves could be very violent. Read the book. That do business in great waters. Uh-huh. These see the works of the Lord. These see the works of God. Yes. Oh, my God. The hand of God and the works of God is out throughout the whole earth. Oh, yes. Amen. When I consider the heavens, the sun and the moon and the stars that thou art obtained, because that shows and declares the mighty power of God. The seas, those that's even in the waves and the sea, they can see the works of God. 
And his wonders in the deep. And God's wonders in the deep. His miracles in the deep. For he commanded us and raised the stormy wind. He got the power to command and raise it the stormy wind. Yes. Oh yeah, he controls the seas. Yes. He controls the storms even in our life, beloved. Amen. He controls, he commanded and storms arise and he could command and say peace be still. Yes. Oh, help me Jesus. Go ahead. Which lift him up the waves thereof. Uh-huh. They mount up to the heaven. Big tall high, way boisterous, way toward the heaven, toward the sky, how big they are. Those in the Marines and different mariners and different ones, they know about the, 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 the hand of God. They know about the works and the mighty works of God, the wonders of God, even in the depths of the sea. They mount up waves, which waves up, they mount up to the heavens. And then they go down again to the depth, crashing waves. Yeah. Woo, go ahead. Their soul is melted because of trouble. Woo, they soul become melted, oh, with fear. Yeah. Because of that trouble, because how powerful the storms and the winds and the waves are. And man don't have no control over it. But God is in control. Yeah. Woo, huh? Yeah. God is in control. Yes. Yeah. They reel what? They reel to and fro. Uh huh. And stagger like a drunken man. Hey, Lou, you, <laughs> oh yeah, on them boats and ships, yeah, they stagger the winds, boisterous. Hey, Amen. These storms of life, beloved, it might rock us. Hey, Amen. It might sway us. We, hallelujah. But as long as our feet is planted, all right, we won't fall. Yes, hallelujah. Well, amen. Because He's able to bear us up. Yes. Amen. And we depending on God who's able to keep us from falling. All right. Yes, oh, yeah. But our feet got to be planted. How is it right. planted? It's planted in faith. Yes. Yeah, Lord. That's how our feet be planted. We planted in faith, beloved. Amen. And though they reel to and fro and stagger like a drunk man and are at their wits end. Yes. Oh, my God. I feel like all oh, hope is lost. I'm at my very, I can't go no far. This is it. Sometimes the devil wants you to feel like this is it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the last bit of suffering. This is it. You, 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 you finna die now. The devil is a liar, people. Yes, he is. It's not over till God say it's over. Right, amen. I don't care about that feeling of your wits in. God is in control of your yes, life. Yes. yes. Amen. The devil, he might could control how you feel mm -hmm. by bringing a feeling, but God is in control. Yes. He's in control of your life and your situation. Those that set their wits in, feeling like all oh, hope is lost, this is it. And I'll, I say, look, hang on, hold on, go on, because God will get you through. Yeah. When you feel like you at your wits in, I can't hold on no more. That's the time to hang on. Amen. When you feel like you can't hold on, holding on represents strength. Yeah. You got strength to hold on. But when you feel like you can't hold on, just hang on. Yeah. Because God going to get you through. Yeah. God going to see you through. Yes, he God going to see you through this storm. Oh, yeah. He going to see you through this affliction. Yeah. He going to see you through this warfare. Yeah. He going to see you through what you keep tripling, stumbling over. That stumbling block that's in your way. When you trust and believe in God and keep seeking God, he'll make a way out of no way. Yes. Yes. And he'll Amen. rise you up above that stumbling block. Amen. And if you can't Hallelujah. ride, if you can't step over it, he'll get you around it. Thank God you. is a deliverer. Those that's at their wits' end, he what maketh I, the storm a calm. No, 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 twenty-eight. Read twenty-seven again. They rail to and fro. They reel to and fro. And stagger like a drunken and man. And stagger like a drunk man. And are at their wits' end. And are at their wits' end. They feel like all oh, hope is lost. This is it. Then they cried unto the Lord. Then they, though, then they, in the midst of their troubles and seas and storms of life, even they cried unto the Lord. In and, their troubles. In their troubles. And he bringeth them out of their distresses. And he bringeth even them out of their distresses. That, let you know, that it don't make no difference what we're going through. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above anything that we ask or think. He's able to bring us out of no matter what it is we face. Yes. It don't make no difference what it is. He's a deliverer out of them all. He maketh the storm a calm. The same God that commanded it to rise. He got the power to make it calm. Amen. And so he that. Make, mm -hmm. He maketh the storm a calm. Yeah. So that the ways thereof are still. Mm -hmm. Then are they glad. Then are they glad. 
Because they be quiet. Meaning they have they rejoice. They have a they have a victory praise. Why? Because they are quiet, because things have calmed, because yes. God has calmed the storms. God done brought the peace. Oh, yes, Lord. So he bringeth them out. What? Read, read it. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Their desired haven. That restful shore. Yes. <laughs> because you've been through the storm, there's a restful shore. Yes. There's a desired haven, a peaceful, restful shore. That God had for them that trusted in him in the midst of their storm. Oh, that men. Again, people, we got to praise God through it all. Yes. Oh, that men. Uh-huh. Read Oh, that men will praise the Lord mm -hmm. for his goodness. For his goodness. And for his wonderful works. And for his to, wonderful works. To the children of men. Yeah. Let them exalt him. Exalt God. Also in the congregation. In the midst of his people. That's what we're doing today. We exalting God. We worship. When you praise God in church with the righteous, with the kind of you're exalting God. Yes. You're exalting him in his congregation. That's one of the purposes that we gather together so we can exalt the Lord together. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord with me yes. and let us exalt his name together. Yes. Ha -ha, oh, glory. Ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And praise him. And praise him in the assembly of the elders. Read the next scripture, Hebrews 13 and 5. There's nothing God can do. Nothing, nothing God can't do. Hebrews 13 and 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Now, he said, let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as ye have. And be content with such things as ye have. Read it. For he has said, what? I will never leave thee, uh -huh. nor forsake thee. So we don't have to live a life of covetousness. We don't have to live a life coveting things. We're supposed to live a life dependent on the goodness of God. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Because he said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. So we're supposed to live our life on, dependent on the goodness of God to take care of me. And when you are dependent on the goodness of God, you can be content. Yes. Oh, glory Amen. to God. Because that's how good God is. Amen. Look at how good God is. No matter how bad things get, no matter how th bad things may be or how bad things are, he said he will never leave us. He Amen. said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Yes. Read. Amen. Mm -hmm. Next verse. Mm -hmm. Romans 11. No, verse 6. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Verse 6 says, that's okay, stay where you are. So we that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man could do to me. I'm not going to fear the things that come upon me because the Lord is my helper. And I'm going to trust in the goodness of God because God's goodness is active. I said the goodness of God is active. Yes. Hallelujah. It's displayed. The goodness of God is displayed in his provision. Amen. And his love and tender mercy and care for you, his consideration for you, his deliverance for you, it's displayed. Goodness of God is displayed. Amen. Though he, he mindful of us. God is mindful of you. Amen. I know you toiling. Know you suffering. Amen. We all having it hard. Amen. The kingdom of heaven suffer violent, but the violence is going to take it by force. Yes. Amen. But let me encourage you to trust and depend and continue to rely on the goodness of God because the goodness of God never fails. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for this message, oh God. That Rama word, Lord, which means a right now word for the present time. A, a, a right now living word for our circumstance. Lord, we thank you for your eternal word. God, I'm praying for every hearer right now. God, I'm praying for every believer right now. I'm praying for everybody who got a sincere heart to seek your face. Lord, that you deliver, Lord. That you help, that you carry and bear them through, Lord God. Help, oh God. And to continue to manifest your goodness, Lord. Help us to see areas of our, your goodness, God. In our lives, in our times of suffering, oh God. When the devil wants us to bring low and become low and be down and, and doubtful, oh God. Help us to see areas of your goodness in our life so we can continue to praise our way through and exalt you our way through, God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word, God. 
It's such an encouragement to all of our hearts, God, to continue to have faith, God, to continue to trust you, God, to continue to seek you and believe in you, God, and hold on to you, Lord, and never let you go. We know that you're faithful to your word. You're faithful to your people because you love us so. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for the backslider, Lord. I pray for the sinner. Somebody that has heard this message, oh God, I pray that you touch their heart, mind. And give them a heart of repentance, oh God. The scripture talked about the goodness of God leading to repentance. Let them know and see the goodness of you, Lord, which lead them to the way of salvation. In the, G in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we come against the enemy right now. That don't want this prayer, that don't want this message to go forth, God. But the devil cannot stop, Lord, your word from going out and accomplishing what you will. Oh, yeah. You are omniscient, yeah. omnipresent. Oh, God, and you are the Holy One. And we thank you for this message. We thank you for your word. And we thank you for the listeners, Lord. And may they all tune us in again as we come back, Lord, next week, Lord, to preach your word and to esteem you high. In Jesus' name we pray. To God be the glory. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, God. Amen. God bless your Facebook, YouTube, children of God, people of God. We love you. Thank God for the word.